Hi, it's Dr. Kevin, author of the Hypothyroid Diet. Today, I'm going to bring you one of the most important messages that I've ever had a chance to talk on. In the past three years of doing a lot of research on thyroid issues, hypothyroidism, and talking to specialists from all around the country and all around the world, there's one topic that really piqued my interest because it's very controversial, and this is the, the idea of supplementing with iodine. Unfortunately, since the 1960s, we really haven't had a dietary source of iodine that's readily available to us in the United States. It de it's depleted in our soil and it's no longer fortified in the foods. Back then, it used to be fortified in milk. It used to be uh, in every loaf of bread that we had an opportunity to buy in the grocery stores. Now it's no longer fortified. Our soil is depleted. The only source that you can get of iodine is seaweed, seafood, and salt. The problem with salt is your body doesn't absorb most of that. And when you're getting seaweed and seafood, the problem is a lot of times through shipping, a lot of that has evaporated and you're also getting into your diet a lot of other byproducts such as mercury and bromide. So, in doing my research, I found, like, found that there is a holistic center for medicine located in the Midwest in which Dr. David Brownstein has tested over 6,000 patients. And in his testing, he's found that 96.4% of people are deficient. 96.4% are deficient. Now, in this country, we have an extremely large number of people coming down with feminizing cancers and prostate cancers, so breast cancer, ovarian cancer, uh, and as I mentioned, pr prostate cancer. In fact, one in three men have prostate cancer, one in seven women will get breast cancer, and that is on the increase every year by 1%. The RDA of iodine in this country is 150 micrograms a day. The average Japanese person their daily intake is 13.8 milligrams. It's 100 times higher than what we are required to get into our diet. They also have the lowest incidence for breast cancer in the entire world. So there's a large tie between feminizing cancers, hypothyroidism, and a lack of iodine. So here's my suggestion to you. Go ahead, before you start just popping pills and supplementing yourself, first of all, try to get it through your diet, seaweed, seafood, but test yourself. It's a 24-hour urine test. It's relatively inexpensive, and if you're interested in doing it, just send me an email. It's kevin at thehypothyroiddiet.com. We ship you out a little package, right? It takes you 24 hours. We send it to the lab. We get the results. If you're deficient, which you probably are, we supplement with iodine. And then we retest to make sure you have adequate amounts of iodine in your system. See, one of the functions of iodine in the body, not only is it to produce thyroid hormone, but it's also required for what we call aptosis. This is what we call cell death. That's how cells die. They need iodine. So what happens if they don't die? They mutate. The mutation of cells is what we call cancer. So it's one of my most important messages today and ever is to talk to you and tell you that you should get tested for iodine. So hopefully you learned a little bit today. I hope this message has served you well. If you want to get tested, send me an email, kevin at thehypothyroiddiet.com. It's a nice insurance policy to have. Until next time, eat well and be well.